Alright guys, so overhead photography is something that a lot of us really enjoy and me myself am no exception to that. I love shooting flat lays, overhead shots and basically creating nice compositions and framing them up whether it's for a product or for a portfolio or even for these own YouTube videos. Now just like any other sphere of photography, even in product photography or in overhead photography, there are a couple of things that come with time and with experience, things that work, things that don't and essentially all the steps that it takes to compose a really nice banger overhead shot. Now today's video is about that. This video has five tips that I have learned over the past couple of years, almost three years now of shooting overhead or top down shots and I think uh, it should really help you. Uh, if that sounds interesting, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Also, before we start, a huge shout out to the sponsor for today's video, Zyro. Zyro is an amazing place where you can create your own website, whether it's for your business portfolio or uh, it's for, you know, showcasing your own work online. They make the entire process incredibly simple and all the links will be in the description below. More about them at the end of today's video. With that said, let's get started. All right, so tip number one or a hack number one to get banger overhead shots is obviously very basic and that is getting the right angle. Now, ideally to get a true overhead shot, your camera should be at an angle of 90 degrees facing down towards your subject or towards your flat lay. And you can achieve this using various different methods. Now, you can use C-stands, you can use your tripods, you can create some Jugadu setup. But the way I do it is I use a tripod and essentially the goal is to get it somewhat tall and then make it lean uh, towards this table using the first two legs and let the other leg hang in the air and then I just snap that back in position so that the tripod is somewhat stable and fixed and then I adjust the camera angle so that the angle is perfectly 90 degrees and you get that nice overhead cinematic look. Now uh, there are a lot of ways to do this so your method might differ from mine but as long as the result is that you have a 90 degree camera angle it should work so feel free to explore this tip around and see what works for you. With that said let's move on to the second tip. Alright guys, the second tip once you've decided and finalized on your camera angle that you're going to be shooting from is filling the frame in. Now this is where things get a lot of interesting. You are going to compose your shot using the different rules or whatever you think looks good and fill in a lot of different props. The reason this is very important is because it's a small step that really goes a long way. And this is essentially the fact that you need to fill up your frame uh, with things that are either relevant to the product that you're shooting, let's say a phone or a camera lens, or you need to fill the frame up with things that contrast your subject. So that can be some sort of greenery using some of these little plants that I have and I have purchased over time to ensure that my frame is filled and it looks aesthetic. So this is a step that is completely personal to you be feel free to give it your own personal touch and to you know make sure that uh, whatever you're shooting looks really really good and it also has a flavor of your personality in it with that said let's move on to the next step all right tip number three is probably the best tip in this entire video and that is changing your background now for most of us we're working with tables and we don't have high-end uh, you know top-down uh, setups created for us so for this reason in order to make your texture which is only one if you've got a table it's either white or it's black or it's wooden like the one that I have here you can buy some of these uh, you know different backgrounds these are really really cool and they're huge and they're super cheap and you know they do not reflect light which is a must when you're shooting top-down photography and this has to be one of the better investments that I've made when it comes to uh, you know creating really cool backgrounds for my videos these are really big super high quality I bought two of them and you can mix and match them they have different textures on the inside as well as on the outside to create some really really nice backgrounds to give some contrast to your subject and whatever you're shooting and honestly I got two of them for a thousand bucks and I think these are really great you get them in all kinds of textures you can choose them I'll drop the link in the description below so yeah let me know if you get one of these backgrounds they'll definitely spice up uh, the way you're shooting and make things a little less boring if you think you're getting the same style over and over again all right guys next up we're talking about lighting and even though this is the fourth tip this should be the most important tip because if you do everything else that I've said in this video right and mess this up it's not going to be worth it so the entire point of lighting a shot like this is to make sure that you're using a really big light source and also it has some kind of diffusion now I'm 
I'm using this light right here. This is the Aperture 300D with the light dome and this is a huge softbox again with another honeycomb grid added onto it to ensure that the light is even softer. So the idea is that when you use a light like this, it does not create harsh shadows and it really flatters the subject and also fills in the entire frame to shoot whatever it is that you're shooting. This is incredibly helpful because in shots like these, you do not want harsh shadows. You really want to showcase the beauty of the product or whatever it is that you're shooting and a, and a light source like this really helps. Now, you don't have to get this exact light and this exact setup to get results like these. You can use a plethora of different lights and different sorts of diffusions in order to get more or less the same effect. So if you guys want a video on lighting, uh, then probably comment below and let me know and I'll uh, probably fix something up like that. But yes, lighting is very important. Make sure you get this right so that your photos in all in all look amazing right, guys now a quick mention of the sponsors for today's video without whose help this channel and this video would not exist now today we're talking about Zyro and Zyro is literally an amazing website builder now in its entirety in general Zyro is the easiest way to build or create a website or an online store now one of the main features that it really has is how intuitive and easy to use it is and how quickly everything loads up it's also the most affordable option in the market so you don't have to pay for features that you're not really using and especially if you're trying to grow a portfolio whether you're a photographer a filmmaker a sound designer or you want to sell your merchandise or set up an online store I think Zyro is an incredible place to do that now using Zyro is as simple as it gets all you have to do is sign up then go to their templates and select any template that suits your sense of style and aesthetic now over here everything is also carefully categorized into different you know categories so you have everything from e-commerce to business to portfolio. Now for me, I'm going to stick with portfolio and show you guys how easy it is to customize every single thing. Now, the first thing that you have to do after you select your category is to select the kind of template that you want to go for. Now for me, I want to create a portfolio for my photography and filmmaking. So I'm going to go with something that really looks and feels like the aesthetic that I want my website to look like. So for example, something like the Felicity looks really good. So over here, once you select a platform, Form, all you have to do is either preview it or start building now I'm gonna go to start building and show you guys how simple and easy it is to essentially use once you click on start building the website builder opens up and over here you can very easily select whatever that you want to select remove and add text as per your using for example over here as you can see it's written I'm a freelance designer based in LA California all I all you have to do is double click all of this and hit and type in your own stuff so for example if I want to make this page Anubhav's photography I can totally type that in and I'm done with that now if you want to change the image just click on the image hit on change and hit on replace image you can obviously search images on unsplash or you can upload your own image we're just going to upload a really quick image i'm going to go to photo shoots uh, to one of the photos that i recently clicked for nike and we're going to go for with that select the photo and hit on upload image now once that is done you can crop the image as per your liking and as you can see that the photo has been replaced with the photo that we had uploaded and it it's as simple you can just recrop it again zoom in probably a little bit hit on crop image go to zoom in and you can also place them wherever you want to place them if you want the text aligned a certain way you can do that you can add in all your contemporary stories everything also preview how the website would look like on your phone and the fact that everything is so seamless and so fast makes this a breeze no longer do you have to code and you know figure out a lot before creating your own website and the best part about Zyro is that if you use the checkout code Roy during checkout, you'll get 30% off on whichever plan that you choose. And talking about their plans, they are super cheap as well. So once you're done with your website design, all you can do is go to their pricing and check out the different plans that they have. And something that starts with as low as $2 for Unleashed for businesses a month, I think this is extremely cheap considering everything that you get for it, including connecting your own domain with hosting, 
with unlimited storage and unlimited bandwidth honestly i feel like zyro is criminally underrated and criminally underpriced so you guys can use this along with the wonderful discount that you get if you use the code roy at checkout so be sure to use the code all the links will be in the description below and once again a huge huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video all right guys last but definitely not the least is post processing or editing these photos now once you've shot all the pictures that you wanted you should throw them in a editing software of choice for me i'm using lightroom so i'm going to transfer all the photos into lightroom here and what i'm going to do is selectively edit every single photo to make sure that it's the best version of what it could be now this means going everywhere from the light settings to adjusting the exposure adding the correct white balance the saturation playing around with the colors to see what looks good and especially if you're using lightroom there's some really cool tools called radial filters as well as gradient filters which you can add to essentially give sort of a vignette effect but you decide where it goes and you can bring attention to the subject and honestly editing is what completes this overhead photography place because you really play around with every single thing and get the best possible result the possible result that you wanted out of it now with that said that is pretty much it for today's video i really hope that these tips helped you if they did don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel once again a huge shout out to the guys over at zyro for sponsoring today's episode and uh, yeah that is pretty much it this is anubhav signing out i will catch you guys next time you guys have a great day stay safe peace out